I'm Carrie Merchant with Buzz Into the Night 2 -0. I'm talking to Theodore Bacal from Fiddler on the Roof. Why do you think Fiddler on the Roof continues to be so popular? Uh, well, uh, it's a perennial uh, for several reasons. One of them has to do with the fact that the better a work of art is, the, the more universal it becomes. And it doesn't matter that it's set over a hundred years ago and set in, in Eastern Europe in, in, an, in an area where living was very dangerous uh, for Jews and um, and that's Jews versus Russians etc. Um, people relate to it. I, I can attest to it very from experience. I, I played this in Hawaii and it'll demonstrate why it continues to be fine. I played in Hawaii and half of my audiences um, were not, n not only not Jewish, they were not, not Caucasian. And I would come out the stage door and there would be these oriental faces, Chinese, Japanese, Hawaiian, people were moved by the ending of the play. And I would ask them, what does this play mean to you? And they said, tradition. Can you talk about the dance scenes? Speaking of tradition, the wedding scene, that seemed pretty fun. <laughs> the dancing is really quite spectacular, and that has to do with the fact that the original director of Fiddler on the Roof was Jerome Robbins. He insisted that there be uh, not just music, song, uh, and story, but that there would be great dancing. Uh, and uh, uh, the wedding dance is, is quite spectacular, and people are saying, how do they keep the bottles on their heads? Is there Velcro? Well, I can tell you, there ain't no Velcro. <laughs>